another day, another pavilion. And this time we're going to Mongolia. Now, when it comes to Mongolia, I don't know too much about it. I know about Genghis Khan and Mongolian barbecue. Uh, but I suppose that's the whole point of Expo 2020 Dubai, to actually explore and educate. So, let's go. <laughs> There are many interesting and intriguing looking things when you come to the Mongolian pavilion. Very interesting artifacts. One in particular is this. I don't know what it is. It looks really, really interesting, but I don't know. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm Dan Kulik from the Mongolian pavilion. So you're interested in one particular item, so I want to explain it to you. Yes, please. So this artifact dates back to 13th century, which is Mongolian Empire time. So during that time, Mongolia has tried to invade Japan two times and failed because of the sea storm. So many Mongolian ships sank into the water and it's actually Mongolian soldiers' water bottle. And it was under the ocean for like 500 or 600 years. That's why there is a barnacles growing outside. So. Interesting. So this is the actual 600 years old and you bring these from the National Museum? Yeah. In Mongolian Pavilion, we bring all the artifacts, original items from our Mongolian National Museum. So it's all original items. When you visit, you can feel the authentic original items. Brilliant, man. Well, I think I found my tour guide. <laughs> yeah, 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 I should. Show me around, man. Yeah. So this piece caught my eye. Tell me about this. Yeah. It's of course, it's hard to miss. So it's a very unique chess board called Shanyu chess. The Shanyu is, uh, means like king or tribe leader in like first empire built in Mongolian land. It's 2000, dates back to 2000 years. It's the Hunnu Empire. Mm -hmm. So for example, these decorations are the based on the carpet, which has been found from that area, that Hunnu Empire time. For, and this artist used his imagination as, for example, these king and queens are the mythical animals. And for example, this one is a falcon. So falcon is Mongolian national bird. And you can see that there is many different types. And also he used the plated gold and silver. So it took two years for him to build that. And it's very, very interesting. And if you're a fan of chess, you should visit Mongolia. It's so hard to miss to see that unique chess board. And I, I like chess myself. Do you, do you play? Yes, of course. You do? Yes. Oh, well, let's have a little game then. Mate. Yes. Are you up for of it? Course, yeah? oh, of right. course. <laughs> so another one that caught my eye was this, these, these uh, transcripts, it looks like, and it's written in Arabic. No, it's actually, many people come here to ask that, is that Arabic? But it's no. It's the Mongolian uh, traditional transcript. In the history, we had more than 10 transcripts. It's the one of them is uh, here, it's called Soyumbo. And the first letter is now reflected on our national flag. So it actually looks Arabic, but it's different because it's written top to bottom. It's vertical. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's really nice, man. That's really nice. Thank you, thank you. You're a fountain of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Let's go and get some <laughs> lunch and, and talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I will nice do. one, man. Cool. Nice, relaxing, and interesting. Had a really good time at the Mongolian Pavilion, and I even picked myself up some traditional footwear. <laughs> and even the bag's interesting. You've got the Mongolian camel and their traditional housing, and then you've got the UAE camel and their traditional housing. This year, they're gonna be celebrating 25 years of friendship between the countries. Expo 2020 Dubai, connecting minds, creating the future.